candles to watch for Messiah. Let the light banish darkness. Lift your heads and lift high the gateway for the King of Glory. Good morning, church, and welcome to the third Sunday in Advent as we gather wherever we are to worship and prepare for the coming of our God. We just have a couple of quick announcements. This morning, we celebrate our hasty nativity, which is a silly, holy time when we take time to use our bodies and our imaginations to recount together the story of Jesus coming among us. It's fun for all ages. And we encourage you to post pictures of yourselves in whatever costume you have decided to wear today. We did discover you can't post it to this live feed, but Pastor Peter threw up another post, um, and you'll see a picture of him in that post, and you can post your pictures there. We'd love to see pictures of you and how you are dressed at home. And if you want to live through it again, you can come out to the drive-in at 10 o'clock where we'll be doing the hastiest, honkiest nativity probably in the history of the ELCA. We also want to invite you this afternoon to the drive-through live nativity from 3 to 4.30 in the post office parking lot. We encourage you to come south on 4th so you can turn right into that parking lot and then we'll direct you right up Myrtle so that we don't block traffic and can keep people moving through. It's for all ages. There will be fun activities and some take-home things for our families with kids as well. And now we invite you into this time with a good sense of humor and a great sense of the holy.
With apologies to Maya Parkin, who is a beautiful dancer. Join us in the gathering litany. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. It may seem naive in a world of grief and pain to choose to live in joy. It may seem foolish in a world where solemnity is power to sing and to dance. It may seem cruel in a world of suffering and injustice to speak of light and celebration. But you have come, Jesus, to bring into our grief, joy into our grief, light into our darkness, singing into our mourning, and it is an act of healing and proclamation to believe and embrace the joy you offer. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Hallelujah. Let us pray. In this Advent season, we await the coming of Christ, light of the world to come. Come to the oppressed and exploited. Come to the despised and rejected. Light of the world come. We wait in joyful expectation. Come not in power, but in love and compassion. Come to the outcasts like shepherds in the fields. Come to foreigners like magi walking from afar, watching from afar. Come to rich and poor, young and old. Light of the world, come. We wait in hopeful anticipation. Come to bless all creation with your love. Come to bring salvation on earth. Come to rule with justice and peace. Come, light of the world, illuminate our path. We wait with all the peoples of the earth. Light of the world, we welcome your coming. Amen.
Uh, so tell me what we have going on today. Well, since uh, COVID, and I'm, you know, this is always going to be for me, even though we're over Zoom, COVID is a big deal. So we can't be in, in, in person like we used to. And so I think what we do, I, I got something set up really good for you. We're going to do a, a remote uh, Hasty Nativity. It was so well received last year that I think we can do it again. And so I think I've set up everybody. And uh, are you, would you like me to bring them in? Or you, is there anything you'd like to uh, uh, tell me before tell me, we do Tell this? me a little bit about the actors. I like to know the people I'm working with. Tell me a little well, bit about they're, this. They're fresh-faced. They're hungry. Uh, many of them were off-Broadway. And so now they're back. Uh, but, you know, everybody's off-Broadway right now, if you get my COVID joke. So uh -huh. everybody should be uh, ready to go and ready to show their skills. So uh, I'm going to bring okay. them in, and uh, okay. So uh, I think you'll uh, I think you'll be excited about it. Okay. So so t give, set the scene. What time? All right. So the place. scene is this. If we remember from past, this is our this is our scene uh, that we have a. It's in the it's it's Bible days, and we've Bible got uh, we've got a manger scene, and scene. and we've got animals, and we've got wise animals. men. And I we've got no shepherds. Just ignore the animals. We'll take the animals right. out in post production. Um, okay. We've got shepherds, wise men, innkeepers. Okay. They should be coming okay. here uh, very okay. soon. Okay. I, I, I set right. the uh, I, I set it to be ready to go, and so the breakout right. room should be coming in. They're all finding their center, and uh, should all be right. going right I'd now. I'd like to say I have places to go, but I have nowhere to go. So yes, the people, people, welcome, welcome, people. So glad. Look at them popping in there. Um, let's, let's see. Um, it looks like, let's see, shepherds, shepherds, shepherds. I think you need to move your camera down a little bit. People, people, thank you. Let's see. Oh, beautiful people, beautiful people. Thank you for coming together. So I've just found out we're going to do a hasty nativity zoom style. Um, I do see some children and animals. I'll do my best to work with them. Um, but here's the scene, Bible times, Bible way long ago. You are a shepherd. You are a wise man. You are an angel. You are animals. You are Mary and Joseph. You, you just feel, feel. So, so, um, let's, let, I want to just get a feel for who I have here. Let's, let's see if I could hear, um, sheep, could I hear a ba? Uh, oh, I think sheep, sheep, um, unmute your mic, please. You're on mute. Thank you. Let's try it again. Sheep. Oh, beautiful. You know what? I believe you. I believe you're a sheep. Thank you. Thank you. I don't normally work with animals, but I think you're going to be all right. Um, let's see. Um, donkey, uh, I, I'm not really believing you right now. Can you, you have ears. Oh, thank you. Donkey, could, could I hear, could I hear, let, let's hear a happy donkey. <laughs> Okay, let's hear a sad donkey. Oh. Okay, and how about, how about, let's see, donkey has to be a little worried. Could I hear a worried donkey? Oh, no. Beautiful donkey. I think you'll be all right. I don't normally work with animals, but I think you'll be okay. Okay, let's see. I do see some children. Um, angels. Angels, could, could you look, could you look surprised for me, angels? Oh, beautiful. Could a little scared, a little scary. Could you, could you look like, like a happy surprise? Oh, that's beautiful. You have great news to share. Could I see your great news expressions? Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Wise men, wise men. Oh, wise men. No eating on the job. No wise men. Wise men. This is, this is, I mean, you can have coffee. All right. Wise men. Um, you have some gifts. Could I see what gifts you have prepared? Apples. That's good. Um, a football. All right. And let's see. Oh, oh, basketball. That's beautiful. You know, Jesus, Jesus loves sports. Jesus was a team player. He had a team of 12 around him, didn't he? So Jesus was a team player. All right. Last. Let's see. I see some shepherds. You look a little bit like the mafia. Um, I'm a little nervous. Shepherds, um, <laughs> shepherds. Could, could I, could, could you, could you give me a little bit more um, caring and nurturing? Beautiful. Thank you, shepherds. Thank you. And and yes, yes. And now Mary and Joseph, I understand you have uh, um, some other guests hidden. Could, could I just see, I don't want any big surprises. 
more children and animals, lovely. Well, I guess I'll make do. All right, so people, here's how it's gonna go. We have half a script, um, just follow my direction. Um, just go with it. I might ask you to give me a little more, a little less, but we're going to try to take this in one take because I know time is money and we all have no place to go, but still it's important that we get this done. So um, assistant, if you could give us the uh, mark, please, and then we'll get started. Hey, C Nativity, let's hope it's take one and the only take. Joseph stood up one morning and told Mary that they had to go to Bethlehem to be counted for the census. Joseph said, Mary, we're going to Bethlehem. Mary, of course, was concerned about traveling while she was expecting a baby. Mary said, I'm expecting a baby. Um, Mary, Mary, could you talk a little bit louder, please? And Mary said, I'm expecting a baby. Oh, I believe you. Um, Mary and Joseph talked about it for a while. Mary and Joseph said. We've talked about this for a while. We're having a baby. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> okay. So finally, they decided to go. They packed up their favorite donkey and headed to Bethlehem. Donkey was a little worried about the journey. So donkey said. I'm a little worried about the journey. <laughs> I believe you, donkey. Yes. Eventually, eventually they got to Bethlehem. It was really crowded. Everyone was talking at once. Everyone said, We're all talking. Yourselves. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yes. Talking. So much. So much. So much. Talking. Could you mute them now, please? <laughs> Mary and Joseph found an inn. They knocked on the door and the innkeeper came out to talk to them. Joseph said, Hello, we're looking for a place to stay. But the innkeeper didn't have room. Innkeeper said, I don't have any room. That's just plain mean. Who wrote this script? <laughs> All right, uh, let's see, where was I? Um, the innkeeper had a great idea. They could stay out in the barn. At least that would give them a roof over their head because Jesus was ready to be born. There's the animals. Uh, when Jesus was born, Mary laid him in a manger. She was excited. Mary said, I'm so excited. Joseph was like, excited too. Their baby boy was here. Joseph said, I'm so excited our baby boy is here. The animals in the barn were excited too. All the animals said. <laughs> I think this is Oscar worthy. I don't know about you assistant, but I think for sure put this on my reel. Okay, so let's see. Oh, it was a happy scene that night. In fact, everybody started talking at once about the son of God being born right there in the stable. Everybody said. The Son of God. Everybody said, right in the stable. Everybody said, that includes you, wise men and shepherds. Everybody said, the Son of God. We'll edit that part. We'll edit that part. All right. So, meanwhile, out in the fields nearby, uh there were shepherds watching their flocks they were just kind of hanging out the shepherd said softly uh shepherds i think you're on mute <laughs> uh, i think we might have a zoom bomber uh assistant so if you could contact uh uh, Mr. Melheim, I don't know who he is, but uh, Richard, um, this is a closed Zoom meeting. The code was not shared with everyone. Um, so uh, we'll just continue. Oh, oh, <laughs> well, excuse me. We have another shepherd. Um, you were just right on cue. So the shepherd said. We're just, oh, we're just hanging out here. There's, uh, oh, and I forgot. The shepherds were scared. So they were quite aghast. Oh, we're filled with fear. 
Ah, ah, but the ah. angel the angel tried to calm them down the angels had wonderful news for them good good news the angel said we have wonderful news for you great news the Don't angels had a lot to say the angels had a lot to say there was a whole sky full of angels they were Yay. praising god with lots of energy all the angels said a baby hey. king is going to be born in Bethlehem. Oh, beautiful angels. Yeah. Oh, wow. The shepherds were going bananas about that. They were happier than a pig in mud. They spoke to one another very happily about how they would go yeah. to this baby in Bethlehem. The shepherds said, There's a baby yeah. in Bethlehem. Yeah. Let us go with haste. The sheep were excited, too. The sheep said, <laughs> the shepherds ran, I mean, really ran to see the baby. They talked so fast, they ran because they couldn't wait to see Jesus. The shepherds, out of breath, said, <laughs> We can't wait, can't wait to, to see, see Jesus. We can't wait to see Jesus. Where is he? Oh, they found the child just like the angel said they would. Here was the Son of God, but he was just a little baby in the manger. They bowed down before him and said, Thank you to God. The shepherd said, thank you, God. Thank you. The barn animals joined in and all the animals said, <laughs> thank you. Awesome. The sheep gave their praises too. And the sheep said again, <laughs> awesome. meanwhile, a star was seen in the east. The three wise men saw it and said, I don't know what we're supposed to say. <laughs> Where was he saying? Uh, uh, there's a star in the east. <laughs> there's a star in the east. Star in the east. Let's, let's go follow it. They followed in search of the child. They followed its rising and setting. Eventually, it stopped over the place where the child was. The wise men entered and gave Jesus the gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh, or an apple, a couple of ornaments, and a football. The wise men said... <laughs> These are for you, Jesus. We give you them. Oh, yeah, oh Mary. Could, could you mute the wise men again, assistant, please? Stealing too much screen time there. All right. All right. Mary was happy about these things. She held the happiness in her heart. Mary said, oh, my heart is so happy. And that is the end of our Christmas Zuzigal, um, the story of that first Christmas. In the grand finale, they all said, don't normally work with animals, but I think you're going to be all right. More children and animals, lovely. Go on, go on, go on. Who wrote this script? A baby king is going to be born in Bethlehem. I'm so excited. I'm not really believing you right now. <laughs> There's the animals.
in this season of Advent, in our waiting, in our wandering, in our pondering, we continue to choose the joy and the peace of Christ. The peace of Christ be with you all. Please share a gesture of peace with those around you. We take just a moment to give thanks for the generosity of this community, the many gifts that God has given to us and that we share together as a community of faith. If you have uh, time, please either write a check at home, give online, or, uh, or one of the many ways that we are able to serve and give together. And thank you. Let us pray. Generous God, you have created all that is, and you provide for us in every season. Bless all that we offer, that through these gifts the world will receive your blessing. In the name of Jesus, Emmanuel, we pray. Amen. I invite you to participate in the great thanksgiving, both in word and body, uh, and in the ways that God has gifted us. God is with us. Yesterday, today, and forever. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to God. Let us give thanks for the abiding love of God. It is wonderful to give our thanks and praise to God. We do give you thanks and praise, O God, for welcoming us to your table and for welcoming us to your love. God, we thank you for birthing our world and for working with us to co-create beauty and wonder and awe, to create joy together in community. God, we marvel at all that stirs and spins and surprises us, and we thank you for your Spirit moving through the ages, for brightening our days and giving hope for tomorrow. You help our eyes and our hearts adjust when life feels overwhelming and the shadows may lengthen. Remind us, O God, in this season of Advent, this season of waiting, that you break forth like the dawn, lighting our way to a new day, salvation renewed, Emmanuel in the flesh, your love poured out again for us day after day. God, we ask that you continue to feed us for the journey ahead in pouring out your love for us in Christ. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord and Savior took bread. He gave thanks and he gave it to his disciples saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this and remember me. Again after supper, he took the cup. He gave thanks and he gave it for all to drink saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this and remember me. 
with this bread and this cup, we celebrate the mystery of God with us. Emmanuel again. Gathered together by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. These are the gifts of God for the people of God. The meal is ready, and everyone everywhere is welcome. Please share these gifts at home now, wherever you are. The body of Christ given for you, and the blood of Christ shed for you. Thanks be to God. Amen. May the body and the blood of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Amen. Let us pray. Gracious and abundant God, you have done great things for us and we rejoice. In this bread and cup you give us life forever. In your boundless mercy, strengthen us and open our hearts to the world's needs. For the sake of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
Just a big word of thanks and gratitude for the live nativity, hasty nativity, um, to the Lisney family and to all those who were a part of making that possible. Thank you so much. Um, what a fun and, uh, and very relevant way of sharing the Christmas story with us. Also, just um, thanks to Sarah, thanks to Carol, thanks to our technicians and all those uh, making our service possible today. Um, as you go your way and uh, continue on this day, just another reminder to join us tonight uh, at 3 o'clock, 3 to 4.30. Come down uh, to the post office parking lot and join in that uh, celebration of the live nativity, uh, the living nativity tonight. And receive this blessing. The creator of the stars, bless your advent. The long expected savior, fill you with love. The unexpected spirit, guide your journey, both now and forever. Amen. Go in peace, prepare the way of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. Thank you.